What's good, Lit to Lit fam? Welcome back to another video. It's the flights in the city, and I'm about to take off. And I'm about to take off. It's the flights in the city, and I'm about to take off. So as you can see in today's video, I'm in the kitchen today. Uh, Rich is taking a shower, so hopefully that's not too loud, and you guys can hear me specifically. But like I said, today I'm in the kitchen today. Um, it's been a while since you guys have seen us. For all the new people who like just recently subscribed, I don't know if you checked out our description down below to tell when we post. We post every other Monday. So sometimes if we have extra content for you guys, we'll post randomly and we'll let you know through like our social medias or whatever. But typically every other Monday we'll post. So this video is this Monday, which is the 25th. And then in two weeks, we'll post the next one. So not the Monday after the, not that following Monday after the 25th, but the one after the, um, but yeah, new subscribers as well, make sure to comment, you know what I'm saying? You guys are new, you join the fam, let us know what you think of this content, any type of content we put out. We usually do like fitness related stuff, um, some health in there, but a lot. And then also some lifestyle stuff. It used to be super heavy on the lifestyle end and we kind of took back some lifestyle stuff and made it more like fitness and what you guys really came here to see, but we still sprinkle in some lifestyle stuff. But without further ado, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm in the kitchen because we are going to be trying out some TikTok healthy snack hacks or food hacks. I don't even know how healthy they are, but it's just food hacks. And I've been like on TikTok a lot. I'm gonna drop it on the screen. Um, I've been doing like dances and stuff like that because it's just fun and entertaining. Uh, but I also just like get into a hole when I'm on TikTok and then get on other stuff like this fitness content on it, this food stuff, this funny stuff. It's just a bunch of things. So I picked three of my favorite food hacks that I want to show you guys today. So I bought all the ingredients for it. I'm super amped to try it out because it looked crazy on TikTok, but I want to see how real it is. Um, I don't know if some of you guys have seen some of them. And if you have, you've tried them, comment down below. If you haven't, I'm gonna do like step by step so you can see it here first and so that you can try it yourself. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the family if you're not already. And if this is your first time, my name is Jay and welcome to the Little Lift Fam. All right, but now let's get into the video. So first one we are going to do is um, so I have one of them sitting in the, like one is in the freezer again prep. So we're gonna do our wraps. So it's a peanut butter and jelly with banana, like roll up. I don't know how to really explain it. But I have the wrap right here. I have the wrap stuff. I have a banana. So you need a tortilla wrap, you need a banana, and you can either use peanut butter, um, almond butter, whatever you feel like. I'm gonna use peanut butter, and I'm going to use jelly. For me to show you guys how it's actually done, I'm gonna insert the clip of the video like that I watched where it shows how to do it so that you can see like what I'm copying, if that all makes sense. Um, but hold on, let me change this camera angle. All right, so. Tortilla, check. Banana, check. Peanut butter, check. And jelly, check. All right. All right, so like basically some of these are simple, which is why I'm trying them. Um, but what you start off doing first is you grab a piece of that tortilla bread, boom. Grab yourself a knife. And then, so what they did was they spread the peanut butter all over. So that's what I'm saying, like that's what I'm get if it's like healthy. I just know it's like a food hack, but I don't know, like I would wouldn't consider some of this stuff healthy because I feel like they go a little overboard on serving sizes because of trying to make this like taste good and all that other stuff. But nonetheless, there's some jelly. So some of them just did peanut butter alone, some of them like like crushed up some uh, blueberries or whatever they crushed up and put it on. I'm just keeping it simple. We're going with jelly. And you only put it on half. I haven't ate breakfast because I'd be intermittent fasting, so this is good. And it's 12 o'clock, so it's perfect. Okay, so. So I don't start eating until 12. 
good. All right, so yup, so you put it on like half. Hopefully you guys can see. Yup, on half. Cool. And then you put the banana on top of this. And you literally just roll it up. Like you take this. This is a mess. Oh my god. Good. And then you just roll that bad boy up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Good. And then they typically slice it into like serving size bites because you don't want to do it like an actual wrap. Theirs looks so much better on TikTok. <laughs> ah! It's usually how it ends up though. It's usually better all online. All on camera, it's always better, always looks better. But, this is how it's supposed to look. As you guys can see, I should actually use a real knife rather than this little other knife here. But, we're being lazy, you know? We're being lazy. But, this is how it should look. I know, it's not super appealing. But, that doesn't mean it won't taste good, you know? Good, all right, time to taste it. And don't worry, I'm not gonna be the only one tasting this. I'm definitely gonna leave some for T and Richard so that they can try it too, so that you guys don't think I'm just gassing you guys up. Um, but they look like this, little bites. And. That's good. That's like, yeah, if you like peanut butter and jellies, you're gonna like this. And if you like bananas, I know a lot of people don't really enjoy bananas, so you might not like this, but if you enjoy peanut butter and jelly and bananas, try this out, this is a good one. I like this one. I figured this one was gonna be good. All right, on to the next one. Okay, hopefully I don't have peanut butter and jelly all over myself. But okay, so the first one, success. All right, so now, so I call that like a peanut butter and jelly banana roll up. You can call it whatever you wanna call it, but, but that was good. Next, we have yogurt fruit bites. So, once again, I'm gonna insert the clip. It's gonna be playing while I'm talking. So basically they're, I've seen a couple. So some of them just chop a diff, different fruits. I'm gonna chop like strawberries and blueberries just like into bite-sized pieces, mix it up with some yogurt, and then you're supposed to put it in the fridge for an hour. So like, I'm definitely not gonna be able to try that right now, but you guys can see the process, and then when it's done, I'll come back and try that. Okay, okay, good. All right, let's do that. Oh, what you need for that is some fruit. So, like I said to you, I have blueberries here, and I have strawberries. So blueberries and strawberries, and some yogurt. Whatever your preference is for yogurt. I just went with vanilla just to play it safe. I also think they sprinkle a little bit of sugar in it too. So yogurt, a little bit of sugar with your fruit, and you put it on a baking sheet, put it in the freezer for an hour. And it's supposed to taste good. And I, like, once again, healthy or not, I definitely think that is definitely healthy just because like fruits, yogurt, um, Greek yogurt, things that are like lower calorie things and just trying to have it be a little sweeter so like that it um, quenches that that little craving you have like it satisfies you. It's like if you like sweet stuff and you don't want to be consuming a lot of calories and a whole bunch of sugar, these are like little substitute for things like for people with sweet tubes and things like that. So let me get my stuff set up. We're gonna cut up some strawberries. Get those a little tinier. Smooth. So Darren and Ashanti got us these knives and they're like crazy sharp. Oh my gosh. Like I've cut myself multiple times. But, all right, here we go. So you wanna do like little bite-sized pieces cause they're supposed to be like in the video, there's some some of whatever fruit. So if it's like I'm doing strawberry and blueberries, you want both to be able to fit in one bite-sized thing before moving on to the next one. I'm even cutting my straw my blueberries in half, even if they're already super small. So I'm about to throw a piece of ceramic over this. I'm gonna toss this plate in the fridge. Put some ceramic wraps so the yogurt don't really 
stick everywhere. Good, so then I have my fruit thing. <laughs> this reminds me of like back in the day when they used to have like Zoom. I don't know if you guys ever seen that Zoom, that TV show, and they started like making food. They had like a little cooking section at the end. There was like a lemur, I think. <laughs> Something. All right, got my yogurt. Mix that bad boy up. I need to add some more fruits, but I will see. Smooth. And then you're literally mixing all that up. Let me toss that piece of sugar in there. I don't know how much sugar to really put. Let me just put a little bit. Not too crazy. Because I'm not making a whole bunch of everything. Just so I can finish stuff, you know? If you make too much, then you won't be able to finish it. Good, okay. So yep, you're just really just mixing that yogurt around. Mixing those fruits. Good, then you get your plate back that you're gonna put in the freezer. And you just wanna make like little, like lumps. before it goes into the freezer, it looks like little, let me show you guys better. So just little bites, little clumps right there. And we're tossing that bad boy into the freezer for a little bit. And now we wait an hour for those yogurt bites to come up. Good. And in the meantime, we were going to do our last one. All right, we're, we're doing it, we're doing it. Oops, make sure that's not too slanted. We are doing it, we are on our last one. So. We did the peanut butter and jelly banana roll up. We did the yogurt fruit bites, which are still in the freezer, just taking their time. Um, and a little bit, I'll whenever I do the taste test, I'll just record that. It'll just be another time. Um, but I'll still add it in the video, don't forget. Um, and then the third one, everybody's probably seen this if you've been on TikTok, but it's supposedly grapes that can taste like Sour Patch Kids. Like, that's crazy. So I guess you're, you get grapes, you freeze them for a little bit, which I've been doing already. I bought them, toss them in the freezer. So it's grapes in the freezer for about an hour. Take them out, put some lime juice on them, and put some sugar on them. And they supposedly taste like Sour Patch Kids. We're gonna see how real that is. I, like, I really wanna see, like, taking a fruit and making it taste like candy, I think that's kinda hard, and that's super healthy. So if this one works, I'm on this one. So let me grab my grapes, let's switch the camera angle again. And let's finish up with this last one. Okay, okay, so lime, check, sugar pack, cool. And then let's grab grapes. Okay, so yeah, our grapes went in the freezer for a little bit. Let's see, so. Alright, so people have been like at least cutting them in half, which I probably should have done before I froze them a little bit, because now they're super tough, but it's working. So. Cut them in half. I'm like super excited for these. I really want these to taste like sour patches. I truly want them to. Um, good, cut that lime. So, put some of the lime on it. Okay, okay, got that lime on it. Beautiful. Put some of my sugar on it. So some people use like alternatives. A lot of the sugar stuff I use, people use other stuff like sativa, whatever other healthy stuff you can find in your local supermarket, but I just wanna use sugar. Okay, I'm keeping it simple. Give that a couple of stars. Moment of truth, okay. I'm upset. I should have bought at least a pack of Sour Patch Kids to compare it to. I don't, I'm not. I'll put a little bit more sugar, hold on. 
I don't know if I'm getting Sour Patch Kids vibes. That's what I'm... I'm definitely not getting Sour Patch Kids vibes. Like, I definitely think this is a cool hack, but to say that they taste like Sour Patch Kids, I think that's a stretch. That's a big stretch. Huh. I have two tasties. I had a taste of peanut butter and jelly wraps. It's just like, I know this would taste good. This is okay. It's just like a crap, you know? My roommate Richard said the same thing. So, let's have her tea. Are you here? Maybe she's showering. Dang. So, well, we can't have her taste it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting really Sour Patch Kids vibe. I just... It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. I think with the lime juice and the sugar, it definitely makes it just better than original grapes. But I'm just not getting Sour Patch Kids like that. I think was a stretch. But nonetheless, try it on your own. Let me know what you guys think of any of these. If you had one that you specifically enjoyed, comment that below or come back to this video after that and be, let us know. Um, I won't forget to add other people's reactions later. I better do that. I better remember. And I'm telling myself in this vlog when I edit it so that I remember. Um, and then I have to also try the yogurt bites, which I really think are going to be really, really good. Really good. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Comment down what you want other vlogs to be. Let us know. Um, you guys have been saying more cooking vlogs, which is why I decided to switch it up, you know? Throw in that little TikTok vibe because I've been on TikTok, like I've been telling you. And like being in quarantine and doing all this stuff, you got to get creative. You have to start switching things up for yourself or it's you're going to get really depressed, really bored. The list goes on. So keep yourself entertained. Stay creative. Stay working hard, improving, progressing, finding something to do during this time. Even if you do just want to relax, that's cool too. But other days, it shouldn't just be all days of relax. Other days, try to find something to do. Read a book, learn something, figure out a hobby. I don't know. Um, or watch our videos, you know? But without further ado, thank you guys for everything. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you aren't. If that red, if that subscribe button is red, you are not a part of the family. So click it, turn it gray, and become a part of the family. And yeah. We at 600, road to 700. Yeah, Millie Brock with that one hand, boy. But thank you guys for watching so much. Oh, and we have a lot of videos coming. A lot of good videos coming. And I know you guys hit 500 views on that house, that unfurnished apartment tour. So that furnished apartment tour is coming, especially since we've been on quarantine. We've been working, sprucing up our place, all right? It's looking amazing. You just seen a preview of that kitchen. It's looking, it's looking crazy. So thank you guys so much. And hope you guys have an amazing Monday, rest of your week. Happy Memorial Day. Forgot to say that. Um, but yeah. Bye. Wow, that's really good. I think the sugar was better. Necessary? Yeah, necessary. Yeah. Try one. So they could be a little bit more for I was gonna say the same thing. But they're they're sticking together, which is good. And it gives you like that parfait feel. Um, but it's good. What did you think about the grapes? Sour patch grapes. Um, I thought they were kinda unnecessary. <laughs> grapes are kinda good on their own. I mean I guess if you put lemon on them, it's okay. I didn't really think they just like sour patch candy. And the uh, fruit roll up there. That was good. I feel like I kinda do that all the time anyway. I'm a big fan of tortillas with peanut butter jelly. Anyway. Fair, fair, fair. You guys you know, I would call it sushi. <laughs> <laughs>